Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our steam locomotive and our steam train bits. As you guys can see, there are actually two anti-aircraft thingamabobbies right here. This is our first attempt with the pipes and stuff like that, and this is our second attempt right here, and honestly, I think it looks a hell of a lot better. What we're going to do now is actually turn this thing into more of a steam armored war train uh, by actually modifying the locomotive itself. Honestly, I think I have an idea on how to make this look really cool and at the same time um, actually make it still look like a steam locomotive. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so here's our steam locomotive right here. What we're gonna do to begin with is actually change uh, a little bit, like uh, actually quite a lot about this. So we're gonna grab this this color right here, this one, uh, the darker one. We're gonna go ahead and change that into that. There you go, so everything is actually very dark. We're also gonna do a similar thing for this line, except that line is actually gonna be very black, uh, and that's gonna run all the way down the side. I know this is kind of crazy, um, to change all of this, but that is what we're gonna do, so uh, as long as we can go all the way down the line with this, um, it's totally gonna work, I think it will be fine. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the black line, and honestly, I actually really rate this, I think it looks pretty sick. Uh, if you go around the other side as well, it is exactly the same, I've painted it so that it is all black. There you go, that is lovely! Alright, so the next thing is where um, where the war stuff comes into uh, into action. We, uh, we're gonna add some guns. Alright, so naturally this thing actually ends right here, but what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take this color, we're gonna go ahead and ramp it down the side all the way to about here, and that is a-okay. In fact, from this piece, we're gonna go ahead and do something like, in fact that piece, we're gonna go ahead and do something like this. There you go. We're gonna have to do the exact same thing on the other side, so actually, uh, go ahead and delete that. Put that back, there we go. Go all the way down to this end, grab one of these, delete that, and do this. Whee! There we go. So hopefully it is actually the same on both sides, which um, it looks like it is. We're also going to go ahead and paint that real quick, just these two, and uh, those two are already done. Excellent. So, what we're going to do now is try and figure out how to fit um, some extra bits. Alright, so, we are going to need a pivot. Yes, we are. Alright, so this pivot is going to go right here. Actually, where should we put it? Where should we actually put this? Uh, one can go right here like this. The second one is gonna go right here like, uh, I don't know, like this, there we go. And we're gonna have to attach a gun somewhere to this. Unfortunately, this whole bar thing is actually in the way, um, which is really annoying. That is actually extremely annoying, but if I delete those guys and I go with one of these instead, we might be fine uh, to do this. We might also not be fine, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and build this up like so. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build this up like so also. And hopefully this will be okay. So. Oh, it won't. It actually won't. That's annoying. I have an idea. I have a really good idea. I say a really good idea. I don't know whether it is. But anyway, what we're going to do is actually delete this, 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 and uh, put this back. Here we go. Uh, sort of. No, actually, no, we're not. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so we need to design this in a way that's going to work. So essentially, we're going to whack this in right here like this. Delete these on both sides. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and strap this guy onto there like that. We're going to go ahead and put this guy on there like this. Okay. We're then going to go ahead and build this out this way. One and two. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put this guy on here like this. Oh, this still won't work actually because I'm thinking the machine gun... I would like it to pivot up into here, but that's not something that's going to be able to happen. Oh, that's annoying. That is very, very... Because I can't put anything here, you see? Um, oh, that's really frustrating. Uh, how do we get away with this? Okay, so if we go to the bottom side and we get ourselves a machine gun... Okay, we should be able to attach a machine gun directly to this. There we go. Then if we put the machine gun ammo on that... Uh, da, 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 just like so. Then we have it pivot up into the right place, which um, I guess is just a number. And that number is like one. So let's grab ourselves a constant number, whack it on the inside, uh, like this. Oh, it, um, it doesn't matter where it goes. It doesn't matter. Attach it to that, maybe. No, okay. Put it there. That's fine. There's two, but that's okay. Label this as one. 
Go ahead and attach this to here. Spawn it in, let's see what it does. Yes, so as you guys can see, it's raised it up, which is excellent. We can now actually shoot um, up and down with that, that's fine. But we can't shoot side to side, so we need to try and work that out next. Okay, so the idea behind this then is that we can then move this this way, which unfortunately we can't actually do. Oh, why can't we do that? Oh, this needs to move backwards. Oh, there's so much. That's so annoying. Okay, um... The plan has not worked, guys. The plan has not worked. Okay, there is another option here. Uh, there is actually totally another option here. We're gonna go ahead and delete from about there all the way to about here. Go ahead and delete all of these guys. Go ahead and grab one of these and smack it on there like this. We're then gonna actually extend it out sideways, just like so. There we go. We're gonna do it on both sides, and we're gonna attach it back together like this. There we go. We're then gonna attach all this together. There we go. The machine gun can go on here, and that'll be fine. Maybe. Okay, so this might be quite tricky still, but uh, we'll see. So, uh, what we're gonna have to do then? We need to be able to pitch it up and down, that's fine, so pivot. Um, yeah, okay, so we're not gonna have it pitch up and down first, we're gonna go ahead and do this guy first, of course. So that's um, turning side to side, okay, we need to be able to do that, that's fine. Then we need the pitching, so we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on. Uh, just like this, there we go. And then essentially, on there, we need our machine gun. But we should do it a little bit higher, so one and two, there we go. Um, grab one of these, delete this guy, whack it on here like this. Alright, awesome. We're then gonna put our machine gun, which is gonna be very strange, on top of this. There you go, pointing upwards. And then we're gonna do this guy, and that's gonna be fine. We're then gonna whack this guy in here, do this, get ourselves a handle. Da 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 da, okay, hopefully we can fit this here. <gasps> What's in the way? What is in the way of that? Oh, if I moved it upwards by one, that'd be fine. Aha, uh -huh. okay, right, so, if we actually move most of this upwards, so these guys and these guys, cut that, move it upwards one, there we go, paste it back in, grab one of these, put it there, merge those together, and um, that's fine. Now, we get ourselves a handle, sorry, merge that first, I unmerged it by accident, grab a handle, whack it on there just like so, and connect it to it, and that'll be fine, um, I, sort of. That'll be fine, sort of. So A and D is going to control the left and right. W and S is going to control the up and down. Space bar is going to shoot. That is all we need to know. That is it. So we're going to put incendiary, sure. There we go. Um, okay. Okay, right, okay. So now if we grab the entire thing, here we go, all the way down to there. Grab this guy. Go ahead and copy it. Press U, take it to the other side. Paste it in right there. Merge this with this. We should be able to make it work. Okay, so we can aim down, but we can't aim fully down, but that's fine. There you go. We can shoot. And we can move it around. Hey, who would have thought this would have happened? That's pretty sick, actually. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, now that we've got that then, um, we can actually build up a boundary around the outside, try and make it look like armor, and we can go from there. Okay, so this can come all the way to the front, pretty much. There we go. We need to do something with that bit. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I think we can do this. Like that, there you go. And then we might be able to get away with doing something like, like this. There we go. So that go there, and then we can do the other side. So, this guy. Uh, it needs to go on here like this. Bring it all the way to there? No, yes, there. Okay, cool. Grab this guy, whack it on here like this. And send it all the way to there, and that is fan dabby dozy. I think that's going to be okay, actually. Grab these guys, whack it on there like this, and this. And that's fine. Okay, nice. I'm happy with that. Okie dokie, so now that we've done that then, let's go down to this piece right here, delete these guys, and maybe delete those guys as well. We need to do this on both sides actually, one second, delete, 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 there we go. If we can then go in here, we can grab one of these guys, whack that on there like so, press, I don't know, whatever, and do that on that side as well, there we go. So now we can actually aim, um, side to side, we can aim up and sort of down, we can only aim down to about this point, but that's okay. Uh, and now we are a little bit more like a war train. Let's go ahead and save this really quickly. Uh, as Steam Locomotive War. Yes, there we go. And now we're going to go to the tender and weaponize this thing too. Realistically, this can actually have quite a, quite a good weapon on the back. Um, not sure we're going to do. Let's see.
All right, so let's delete all of these guys right here. Let's delete all of these guys right there and also all of this right here as well because we can. We're going to delete that guy too, again, because we can. So an anti-aircraft gun on the back of this would be fantastic. Um, how we want to go about doing that, I'm not sure. All right, so one of the things that we definitely need is a pivot to turn it side to side. So let's go ahead and smash that in there like this. Uh, we are going to be firing backwards, so that's okay. Uh, then what we're going to do is build this up. One and uh, maybe two. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go ahead and smash these guys on the sides. That's fine. And um, we're going to have to add a pitch on there. So we need it to be able to aim up and down. So we're going to do this. I'm going to smash that into there like so. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in here. Do these guys. Get ourselves an auto cannon. Should we do auto cannons? I don't know whether we should, but sure. Uh, light ones. That would be great. Although we are on a train, maybe heavy ones would work. Uh, but let's go ahead and put those there like that. Get ourselves the auto cannon small drums. There we go, smash those into each other like so. And that's fine. That is actually okay, whack that on there. Get ourselves a handle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If this fits, it sits. There we go, whack that there, excellent. We won't be able to see if it's this way around actually, will we? <laughs> you can't see very much with that anyway. Um... But sure, we're gonna... Hmm, how do I want this? How do I want this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, because if I delete this, it has to go there. It, it does. Okay, right. I can delete these, and I can somewhat put them on there like that, but not quite. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. But if I do this and this, delete that guy. Uh, leave that one there. Actually, delete that one for now. We can get ourselves auto cannons Again, the small light ones. We should be able to smack them on there like this. Oh, we can only do one. I hate that because the the rounds they they're not allowed to like fly out into each other. Ah, uh, okay. Delete that. I guess it's gonna have to go out sideways. I mean, I don't know about that, but sure. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is so frustrating. Okay, right. So. If we attach those onto there like that, get our auto cannons. I can smack them on there like that, but that's a bit weird. But sure, let's go ahead and strap this under here. Get ourselves a hood. It's not actually going to have anything on it. It's just going to look like a gun sight. And we're going to turn it around so it's pointing that way. And that's okay. All right, so hopefully this works. I'm sure it will. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a light auto cannon. It's going to be high explosive. High explosive. And that's fine. So... Uh, left, right, up and down, that's what we need to select next. So A and D is that one. Uh, w and S is this one. Trigger is going to be for this and also this. And that's it. That's kind of all we need. So we got the tender, here we go. We're going to climb on the tender, yes. We're going to climb over. Over the tender, there we go, to the rear. We have ourselves a light auto cannon. It is... Oh, haha, <laughs> that's funny. The auto cannons aren't actually on this. They need to be, but they're, they're not. How have I managed that? Okay, right. Da -da -da. Grab this guy. Cut it. Uh, oh, it's not quite right, actually. Right, delete those guys. Delete these guys. We do need it to go on here. So, auto cannons. We're going to do it again. Here we go. Uh, light auto cannon. Yes. Strap that onto there like that. Good. We're then going to go ahead and attach one of these guys onto there like that. Realistically, we could actually do this too. But that's a bit mad. That's a little bit crazy. But kind of cool. A <laughs> little bit crazy, but actually kind of cool. Um, should we do it? Should we do it? Or is that very strange? That's quite strange. I'm not very good with uh, designing guns in this game. Uh, in fact, I'm actually pretty terrible at it. But let's see if they work, at least. So we're going to do that. Uh, A and D is there. W and S is there. Spawn it in. Run to the rear and see what it looks like. And jump on the gun. Here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so we can aim it down. We can aim it up. We can't fire it just yet because we don't have any ammo in it. But yes, this works. Light auto cannon. It is going to be high explosive. High explosive. Go. Alright, everybody ready? It should actually push the uh, the tender along a little bit. All right, and that needs inverting. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's a bit mad. 
It is a bit mad, but it'll work. It will actually work. Okay, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> we, we are actually gonna keep it. Uh, the only thing that I need to do now then is actually paint all of the gold on this uh, black again, and then we can go from there. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okie dokie, if everybody is ready, we can go ahead and run back here. Yes, okay, there it is. So I've painted around the outside, obviously, uh, black, that's fine. Uh, the anti-aircraft gun is uh, assembled and in the right place. And now when we want to, we can actually shoot uh, into the sky and shoot the enemy. The only thing that is remaining to do is to invert the uh, up and down angles. That is it. So if we can, we're going to go ahead and hide this somewhere inside, which is easy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select the inverted number, attach that to W and S, attach this down to there, and that is all we need to do. The only other thing that would actually work and be quite useful is actually attaching this to there, and doing another one, and that's it. So, these are spare ammunition uh, for light auto cannons. they're gonna be high explosive. They're all gonna be high explosive, actually. This guy as well, high explosive, and this guy, high explosive. There we go. Alright, cool. This is also gonna be on sticky uh, for the W and S. And also the A&D. There we go. Sticky! Nice. So, now that we've got those, uh, let's go ahead and connect those to our train cars and see what this is like, shall we? Alright, so if we go ahead and run forwards, this is obviously our train now. So if we have a little look at it, there's the auto cannon on the back. And if we run forwards, obviously it's all black, which is excellent. Uh, we've also got the guns on the side. Uh, that bit needs fixing. But other than that, I think we're good. Oh... The ammo fell off. Hang on, why is the ammo falling off the gun? Um, but that's it. That is actually really cool. Alright, so let's get inside and get it moving and see if this time it breaks or not. Hopefully it doesn't. Okie dokie, here it is. The boiler temperature is now raising, so let's go ahead and throttle ourselves up. We are just going to go ahead and throttle to full. Uh, hopefully there is not too much wheel slip. I know there will be a little bit, but it should... should get over itself pretty quickly, which indeed it has. So, we're moving! Everything is actually going, which is awesome. Uh, we switch tracks straight away, as we always do, and uh, everything is fine. Everything is actually mighty fine. Okay, good. While the pressure is still building, uh, speed is 25 meters per second. That's not too bad, I suppose. Um, but yeah, cool. It's working. Alright, so we're at the same point we were at last time, where the speed started dropping, and the speed has indeed started dropping again, and I actually don't know why. There is water in the boiler, and last time that seemed to be the issue, but I think it's because we got here too late, and it had all leaked out, as you guys can see. But, um, I don't understand why this is happening. I don't, I don't get it. Boiler temperature is still going up, there is still water in the boiler, there is boiler pressure, and, um, the firebox is also high. So, the boiler pressure is the thing that pushes us forwards, um, and it is just not really working. It is not working! Anybody know why? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, we added guns. I'm actually really pleased with that. I think they look awesome. Those guys on the side look pretty cool. And this guy in the back, actually quite a cool feature. What we're going to do next time is um, a suggestion by Justin, which is to build a spotlight train car. You know, like those um, search, uh, air search siren thingamabobby spotlights? Uh, I think that'd be really cool. In fact, it could have a siren on it too. That'd be awesome. But anyway... Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this uh, sort of feature with the guns on the side. And also the gun on the back of the tender. Let me know. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Alright, so I said I was going to end it, but look at this. They are they are actually bugging out. Uh, because I have actually throttled all the way down. So they shouldn't really be moving because there's no steam going through it. Uh, I don't think. Uh, so I don't know why this is happening. Um... <laughs> they shouldn't be moving. It's very strange. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.